I don't know if you read Calvin and Hobbes when you were younger. I read every single Calvin and Hobbes comic. I still have all the books. And tomorrow there's a movie opening, a documentary called Dear Mr. Watterson, referring to Bill Watterson, who was the cartoonist that drew Calvin and Hobbes. It opens in some major cities, but it will also be available for streaming online starting tomorrow. I really think I'm going to buy this. It's um, I, I'm just fascinated by Calvin and Hobbes when I see sometimes on Reddit, people will post a Calvin and Hobbes that's particularly relevant today. I think it's incredible that Bill Watterson is only 55 now. He's I've been, you know, Calvin and Hobbes now was it's been done for many years. There haven't been new ones for I don't even I don't even want to say how long because I don't remember. And Bill Watterson is still only 55, meaning that it was a pretty young guy who drew this comic strip, Lewis. Yeah, uh, it has been around for a long time and I never really, really got into it. Uh, I know you've been a fan and you have some of those books, but um, it's uh, I don't know. Sounds like an interesting documentary, I guess. Yeah, I look forward to it. Send me your Calvin and Hobbes stories. I actually showed my sister was over at my place a couple months ago and she's she's nine now. And she grabbed one of them and said, what's this? And just started reading it and got instantly sucked in. I think I was probably um, I think she was eight at the time. I was probably around the same age when I started reading Calvin and Hobbes. And it's amazing because if I just page through them today, I there are a lot of things that as an eight year old, you don't realize when you're reading it that are really jokes meant more for adults. And it's like reading a brand new comic when you start getting those things that kind of happens with movies, too, that you might have seen as a kid. And a lot of those uh, children's cartoon shows that have a lot of adult humor tossed in.